Welcome back agents. In this video, we're going to tackle something that a lot of salespeople struggle with, and it's how to use the sales script without sounding like a robot. <laughs> I'm Todd Schuhart, and thank you for being here. We've all heard the stereotypes of the scripted salesperson who sounds more like a machine than a person. And trust me, we've all been on the receiving end of one of those calls, right? It is horrible. And it's the first thing we want to do is hang up, right? And so do your prospects if that's how you sound. The thing is, you don't have to be that person. In fact, the key to mastering a sales script is making it sound natural and conversational, even though you're following a structure. So let's start with a fundamental question. When should you follow the script and when should you adapt it? Woohoo! a question for the ages. So the script is there for a reason. It's a proven guide that helps you stay on track and ensures you cover the most important points. But here's the thing. No two conversations are exactly the same. And that's why adaptation is crucial. So when should you follow the script? Well, whenever you're talking about the core points, things like explaining your offer, covering key benefits, next steps in onboarding, underwriting, or handling common objections. The scripts will give you a roadmap to handle those things. It's like having a GPS in an unfamiliar territory. It keeps you from getting lost. I still, 30 years later, always present with a script in front of me. But when should you adapt that script? It's whenever you need to respond to the unique personality or needs of your prospect. Oh, being present in a conversation, maybe. So if you feel the conversation going in a different direction, or if the prospect says something unexpected, as they should, it's time to shift gears and make the script fit the flow of the conversation. So here's a pro tip for you. If you feel like you're losing that natural conversational tone, pause. Take a breath. And remember that the script is your guide. It's not the boss of you. Now, let's get into some good stuff. How to make that script sound conversational. One of the easy ways to do this is by using pauses and adjusting your tone. Don't rush through the script. It's not a race. In fact, when you slow down and give your prospect the time to absorb what you're saying, it makes the conversation feel more relaxed and personal like we just did. Here's a tip. Instead of reading the script word for word, which is a horrible idea, internalize it. You have to own it. Know it so well that you can deliver it in your own voice. This helps you sound more natural because you're not tied to every single word. You're focusing on the conversation, not just getting through the script. Biggest tip you got, right? That's a huge deal. So let's say the script calls for you to say, this policy offers you excellent coverage for your specific needs. But instead of saying it like that, try something like, what I really like about this policy is how well it fits with what you're looking for. My body and my tonality all change, right? My pace even did. See how it made it feel more natural? So here are some quick do's and don'ts to help you make the script work for you. Do. Adapt your tone to match your prospect's energy. If they're laid back, you can relax your tone. If they're more formal, stay professional. Don't read the script word for word like you're reading from a script. Hi, how are you? It's horrible. Even if you're following the points, you have to know them enough to let it flow from you naturally. Use pauses. A well-placed pause gives your prospects time to process what you're saying, and makes you sound more, anybody? Thoughtful or conversational, either one works. But don't rely on filler words like, like, or um, or uh, or whatever you're doing when you're nervous. It's okay to pause in and, and gather your thoughts using silence. It's actually a really great power play. And here's your self-study tip for this section for y'all. Take a portion of your sales script. Maybe it's your intro or how you explain the key benefits and rewrite it in your own conversational voice. The goal is to make it feel like something you, you would naturally say in a conversation with a friend, not a script. It's like, we're gonna give you the words, you have to bring the personality to it. Once you've rewritten it, practice delivering it out loud. And I would do it in front of a mirror. 
You can even record yourself and play it back to see how natural it does or doesn't sound. And trust me, this uncomfortable but simple exercise will make a huge difference in how comfortable and confident you feel in sound when you're speaking to an actual prospect. So to sum it up, remember, your script is a tool, not a script that you have to stick to word for word. Adapt it, make it your own, and you'll find that your conversations flow more naturally without sounding robotic or worse rehearsed or worse I am just reading. I'm not paying attention, right? It's horrible. In our next video, we're going to focus on handling objections, an area where your conversational skills really, truly come into play. But for now, take some time to personalize your script, practice it, and see how much smoother your conversations become. Agents, again, I'm Todd Shuhart with Razor Ridge Leads. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And remember, the PDF link to the conversational sales training by Razor Ridge Leads can be found just below this video in the description. It's free. Go grab one. It's got cadences and scripting and all the wonderful things in there. And if nothing else, we'll see you soon.